Hey everyone, before we get started talking about the Coalition app, we wanted to let you know that you can calculate your chances of admission at a variety of different schools using our chancing engine. First, you'll start by completing your chancing profile with information that's reflected throughout the Coalition app, such as GPA, testing, and extracurricular activities. From there, you can use College Vine's hub tool to see your chances and information about different schools, such as cost, majors, and more. Visit the link in the description below to sign up and see your chances today. First things first, we're going to just take a look at what the account creation process looks like for the coalition application. So we're going to pull this up here, right? And this is the coalition application. And you're going to basically click, click on create a My Coalition account. And we're just waiting for that to load up here. So now we're working on creating a coalition account. Um, so you're going to click over to the Create Account tab and go from there. So the first step is just entering an email address. I'm just entering a fake email address. Just automatic password being created here. That's fine. And we'll just uh, create a name. You can enter in your gender here. Again, it's totally your choice. I am going to choose to enter it, but it's completely up to you. And then you're gonna enter in a date of birth. All right, so that's kind of the background here. And then the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna share uh, the terms of service and just make sure you agree to those. Once you agree, you're able to create an account with the coalition application, right? Now, usually you are gonna have to verify the email address. So I'm actually just gonna change this to a real one real quick um, for context. Uh, so we're gonna just resend that verification email real quick. I'm gonna open that up separately and then we'll be able to uh, get that verified real quick. So I'm just going over to my email inbox and verifying my email so that I can access the coalition application. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and verify the account real, real quick. So just give me one second here. I'm gonna go ahead and verify that account. Okay, now the account is ready for log in. Quick. I think this should work. Oh, oops. Sorry about that. It's just taking me a second to navigate through this. All right. So we're going to go ahead and move on here. Now, this is the starting point for the coalition application. First things first, you're obviously going to select who you are, whether you're a student or someone who's going to be providing support to a student. So most of y'all are in the audience are going to be provide, pressing student and selecting that. OK, great. So now you get moved into the overview. And uh, basically the coalition application actually does give you a little bit of a tour. So we're just gonna go through that and take a look at everything else. So first things first, they're gonna ask about wh what your current enrollment status is. And in this case, most of you in the audience are gonna be high school students. You just select high school students. And then you pick when you're gonna graduate. For the class of 2021, that's usually gonna be June or, July, uh, or um, May of 2021. So you go ahead and select that. Next question is gonna be about whether you are a US citizen or a US national. Uh, now, a U.S. national is someone who has permanent residency in the United States. So usually that's going to be someone with a green card, someone who's here on like protected status, like uh, like someone, a, a recipient of DACA, or someone who's here under refugee or asylee status. If you're not a U.S. national, if you're not in one of those categories, are obviously U.S. citizens, you're not considered a U.S. national. So you just want to be careful about answering this question. So we'll go ahead and say yes. Okay, great. So based on your answers, they're going to describe you as a first-year applicant. Okay, awesome. Now, uh, the next thing you're going to do is be, you're able to add a few schools. So let's start here with the University of Chicago, which is the school that I attended, right? Um, we'll look at some of the other schools that they have. The Coalition app is not used by anywhere near as many schools as the Common application, right? Um, just for context, right, the Coalition app is used by a couple hundred, whereas the Common application is used by close to 800 undergraduate youth schools in the U.S. So we're just going to pick a few schools at random, kind of just add them to our list. So we'll go from there. Johns Hopkins, Lycoming, 
Marist, and eh, Middlebury, Northeastern, uh, Wash U St. Louis, Vermont, Oregon, University of New England, Kentucky, Michigan, Florida, and Dayton. Okay, so we got a bunch of schools in here. And the vast majority of schools are either available both on the Common App or on the Coalition, and on the Coalition, or just on the Common App. There are, I guess, virtually no schools at this point that are exclusive to the Coalition application. So that's the basics of picking your schools, right? And you're also able to do that later via this Colleges tab up here, which we can, we can take a look at separately. So we're going to go ahead and follow their tour right here real quick. So first things first, obviously the, the Coalition app has different sections, such as the profile, uh, the locker, which is where you can add a bunch of information about your application, right? It also has colleges, which allow you to obviously enter colleges and uh, select the schools that you're interested in applying to. And then there's some stuff that allows you to get help depending on what you're looking for. And that's basically it. 